In other developments on the ground, Ukrainian government's continuing its military operation in the east of Ukraine. Fresh fighting took place near the city of Kramatorsk. Violence erupted as self-defence units tried to stop heavy weaponry moving towards that town with some Russian journalists calling the fighting. Let's get a live update from the region, shall we? Irina Galushka is there for us as she continues to be embedded down the region there. Hi, Irina. Uh, Kramatorsk has been a real flashpoint, hasn't it, between the, the, the pro and anti-government forces, people on both sides there. What's the latest? Well, of course, the fighting th uh, around Kramatorsk has been uh, happening, you can say, throughout the day. We know that in clashes with self-defense forces, the Ukrainian armed forces have uh, lost at least six men. At least that's the number that they have confirmed. Also, there were at least three military he helicopters being used in clashes this time around. And according to live news correspondents, those bore the insignia of the United Nations. That is something, obviously, to be investigated upon. But nevertheless, the live news correspondents that themselves have come under fire uh, from the National Guard and this is how they have described their ordeal to our team. When the military vehicles were gone, we tried to enter the village to see if there were casualties among the locals and if anyone needed help. But when we got close, we came across an APC with a Ukrainian flag on it and armed people dressed in black. We were in a car with a signed TV on it, but they started shooting in our direction. We turned around and drove to safety in order not to provoke them. Locals are in horror. They cannot get home. Many took shelter in the basements of their homes. There was indiscriminate shooting and many bullets hit windows, so it was impossible to hide from them in the house itself. Now, according to the uh, self-proclaimed Kiev officials, what's happening here in the Donetsk region, which has proclaimed independence uh, from Ukraine literally just yesterday, uh, they calling the Kiev officials are calling this an anti-terrorist operation and say they will continue to carry on with it. So, unfortunately, we can probably expect more similar clashes in the next days to come. Yeah, we'll continue to monitor it. Then, uh, Irina Galushka, for now in the region, thank you for that live update there. Appreciate it.